Welcome back. So, um, you remember my last video I did hay bales? Well, today at work, I was talking to one of my close personal friends, Pam. There she is right there. Hey. Hi. She's actually going to be the star of this video today. She told me that she did some hay bales uh, a few weeks ago, and I was like, tell me all about it. I was so excited. So, Pam uh, said, just come on over, and we'll go through it, and she'll show me where she's at. Now, she's how many weeks into this? Two weeks. About two weeks in. So, can you just uh, walk around and show us what you did? Sure. Um, well, this is, first of all, that's my grandmother's rose bush. It's over 50 years old. I'm taking care of that for her since she's no longer with us. And um, my my uh, friend, Vicki, was um, trying to clear some, oops, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry for that. <laughs> so, my friend, Vicki, um, was trying to get rid of some spoiled hay. She has horses and needed to get a new load of hay in. And... Um, so I had mentioned to her that I kind of wanted to try this hay bale gardening. I wanted to try it because I had a problem with reticulum wilt in my tomatoes, getting into my tomatoes. And once the wilt is in your soil, um, it's really hard to clean that up. So I think you can, um, you can somehow sterilize the soil and I didn't feel like bothering with that. So I thought for a year or two, I'm just going to cover up the soil and try planting in these hay bales. So. Um, got the hay bales from Vicki. She dropped them off. Didn't charge me for anything. She's looking so you, to get rid of them. So they were free. They were free yes. and delivered. Yes, there you and go. Look at that. See? She even helped me throw them into the, into the garden. And, I get, and that's where I get my manure from. That's from right. Vicki as well. Free, free, uh, free, free biomass. <laughs> there you right. go. Good way to be a science teacher <laughs> right. there. So, um, so the hard part was for my husband. I asked him to cut holes in the hay. And so he had to saw holes down in the hay okay and um and how deep so did he go he went about six six inches six to eight inches down okay and um he he tried various saws he tried hand saw and mm. then he finally got you know an electric uh, reciprocating saw I right guess, okay the only problem he had with that was the that you know the hay kept getting stuck up inside and he was worried that it was gonna um you know be hot from the friction and mm. light the hay on fire so we ended up wetting the hay down a little bit but it worked out. Uh, worked out. Yep, so. did work out fine. You have a good and, husband. Um, yeah, I do. He's a good, <laughs> he's a good hubby. So he, he humors me with my crazy projects. So um, so he dug that out, and then I let the hay bale sit for a week or two, watered them, just kind of start the decomposition process yep. Yep. of the composting. And um, then I got my plants, and I, um, you know, dug them, you know, dug out a little bit, put some uh, potting mix in there with it. And then I used a Kickstarter fertilizer. I think you have to fertilize more when you use the hay than yeah, when, you, yeah. when you use nice compost. Yeah, just like I did yesterday with my right. manure. So. And um, so that's what I did. So I have... Um, now, can I, you go through and tell us what you got? Yeah, I got... Yeah. These are cucumbers. I have a couple different kinds of cucumbers. These are called straight eight, and they are vining. So I'm going to have to get some um, some support fencing or uh, lattice work or just something to let the cucumbers crawl up here. Um this one is, I think, a Japanese cucumber. It's uh, long, long, longer and thinner. And yep. I think this, the skin is a little bit more tender. Um, this is a red bell pepper. Um, I thought I'd try putting the pepper next to the cucumber. I just kind of mixed the, mixed the stuff up. Didn't really have too much um, in the way of you know requirements for what I put together. Um, these two tomatoes are uh, better boys. I always used to like them before I started having the wilt. I just felt like they produced well, and I liked the taste of them. Um, this over here is just a burpless cucumber, another vining one. I'm not too big into bush plants. I think the, the vining ones are more prolific, and I just tend to like the taste of them better. Mm -hmm. um, this is this might be a beefsteak tomato. I think I was looking for yeah. one beef one beef steak, big beef, or something like that, because my husband likes BLTs, so right. that'll be good on the BLT. Um, and this is a cherry, like a super sweet, I think. And this is an interesting tomato. It's uh, some kind of an heirloom tomato, um, violet-topped tomato, and it, it the top of it turns um, that violet color, and it's very high in antioxidants. I've never grown it before, but I'm going to give that a whirl. And over here... I have two early girl tomatoes. These are the determinant varieties, but I like to get a few by the 4th of July, hopefully. So, right. Um, so I planted those. And then these over here are gypsy peppers. They're very prolific, and they have nice um, nice or, uh, orange and yellow and red uh, 
combined all in one bush, which I, I like a lot. And then you put in a basil plant and down below. And then there's a little basil there. And um, I have a, a curly parsley that I plan to put in uh, probably back there somewhere. Okay. Um, so and it, that's it. Bare right. golds, just because I like them. Like look the way they look. But it's just something simple, something mm -hmm. easy, you know? Something simple and easy. And, and it's free. And I, I, I do know that I have to fertilize a little bit more than, um, than I would if I planted them right in the ground. But I'm going to give it a whirl. Okay. So, so anyway... Folks, the, the reason why I came over was because I had no experience doing the, uh, the hay bale method. And like I had said in my intro, Pam has already started this. This is two weeks worth of growth. So if you don't have much space, you want to do something easy, something simple, find some free hay bales off Craigslist, talk to a friend, go to a horse, you know, where people raise horses, whatever. And you could probably get some for free and then just get a little bit of potting soil and you're, uh, you're ready to go. Just stick the, stick the plants in. So there you go. So any, any last words of wisdom? All right, thanks.